Hi guys, or do I have to say guys or something? Hello, I'm Vicky working at the Wildlife Free Store. Um, this is the Wildlife Free Store and I will give you a tour full of What's fascinating about the thrift store to me is the same reason you go in and anyone goes in because you never know from moment to moment what you're going to receive and what's on the way in the door and what's in each bag that comes through the door. And I got to tell you, it's crazy. So here's the donation table of the wildlife, like everything kind of, it's kind of like the heart where like everyone wants to give us like donation they directly come to the store and they can drop everything on those tables if you start the tour here you can find all the furniture all the stuff on the windows or all the small items on the different furniture are for sale this is like the good thing of the street store you don't really know if what you're gonna buy what you're really looking for, you start looking for something and bam, you found what you need and you're like, yes, I found a good record. So I grew up in Marple and our family used to donate to the Salvation Army on Granville near 70th, near our other store. And any time we were cleaning out our closets or cleaning out our house, we would I would drive with my mom, I remember very well loading up the trunk and going to the alley behind the store and just dropping stuff off. And so I remember thinking it's so great that we can drop stuff off and then people who need it can use it, you know? So that was when I was really introduced to recycling. I remember looking around thinking, wow, like the stuff we're giving is, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that, you know, we all have small closets and we're getting new stuff. So we need to get rid of our old stuff. We also have like a book section, game board section, and all the CDs and DVDs are just here. We also accept donation of like take like this and also like all cassettes. This one is a good one. <laughs> So we took over the downtown store um, because he was old, you know, in his 80s and wanted to retire. And he was a friend of my dad's. And we th and my dad said, look, this is a great opportunity. You guys should come look, look at this. And the first thing we noticed was the store was sort of filled with a lot of odds and ends. It was disorganized, a lot of, I hate to say junk, but things that we didn't think were of high value. And what we did see was that people wanted to buy clothes. All like shoulder bags or purses are here. We make sure that they're all trendy, good quality, and sometimes kind of vintage item. Like this, the customer can really like try to find the perfect purses, I will say. I think also because of COVID, um, <laughs> people stayed home and cleaned out their homes and cleaned out their closets because they just had nothing else to do. And Salvation Army and Value Village stopped accepting. When you're the only people receiving in downtown Vancouver, you get a lot. Take my Take my Take my Take my Kala, can we take the washing machine? Kala? Kala? So here you have like four different groups. Those rooms we separate like um different I will say organ organize organization or, or. Yeah. the first one it's one of my favorite it's the picture frame uh, picture frame poster this one it's mostly the sports room and this area it's only like the electronic items and the last room it's the kitchen area where you can find all the kitchen supplies electronic supplies that you need to make coffee soup or bread bread <laughs> you best bread because you need to have good bread in canada because you don't have the fresh bread. some of our staff will say i just googled this and this is worth like 300 dollars and we'll sell it for 30 bucks because we need to move product we only have so much space and there's so much coming in we cannot afford to hold on to anything what we need to do is turn product over to make room for the new. You walk away thinking, I didn't go in there looking to buy that, but I had to. I found a tea and cup, a cup and saucer that reminded me of my grandmother's house. So I had to buy it with this crazy mug that has this funny saying on it. And then that's what you have your morning coffee in and it just gives you a laugh. Thank you for visiting the wildlife store with me. I hope you enjoyed the tour and I hope to see you soon at the store.